Uh, son, I, I need you to put your helmet on. Mars landing, take four. Twas one giant leap for mankind, but now tis a great bound into the future. These lines are terrible, Stanley. I need, I, I need, I need you to say the line per script, okay? I need you to say it verbatim, okay? These lines are terrible. We didn't help you fake your death so you could direct the new Mars landing crappy, okay? That's not why we helped you fake your death. Listen, I need you to, Cooper. I need you to do it, okay? It's, Just do it. This is a cardboard box man right now. It, it, this is an Amazon Prime it, cardboard it's all about, box on my it's head. It's all right about now. man's this inhibition. Is, that to makes turn no nothing sense to everything. Stanley Kubrick, I'm done. I, I don't get paid enough for this crap. Hey everyone, I'm John, and I'm here to review the 2015 science fiction movie, The Martian. So this movie takes place in the future, and it follows the story of Mark Watley, an astronaut, played by Matt Damon, who's on a mission to Mars with a bunch of other astronauts, and they're doing research and stuff, but then due to an emergency storm, they all have to leave, and they think Matt Damon's died, but he's actually behind, left, left alone on Mars, and he has to figure out how to contact NASA to rescue him and survive, and he really just has this whole predicament. So one of the things I was hoping for going into this movie, and I think I really got, was that everything came together to create a really very effective sense of tension and anxiety as he was stranded on Mars because it really is such a dire situation and this movie used everything to communicate that really well and really make you feel it and really make you afraid for the character. I think it's a combination of both Matt Damon's performance, which was great, and Ridley Scott's direction, which is top-notch in this movie. And that's really what I like most about it. Also, Matt Damon shines 100% in this movie. This is one of his better performances, I would say, ever, because he's really the only major character. There's a lot of supporting characters that, you know, I have mixed feelings about, but Matt Damon is definitely the star, and he absolutely kills it. Like I said, he really just brings a lot of tension to the character. That's really the only word I can use. I think Ridley Scott's direction also really helps to create that sense. He really does a great job with just the visuals and a really good script and everything, and I think he did a great job in this movie, too. Also, like I mentioned, the visuals were really, really top-notch. The set pieces were really well done in the sense that they weren't over the top. They were perfect for this movie, especially, you know, in the places on Mars and the space equipment and stuff really worked well, as well as the costume design. And the CGI is, I think, really seamless. It's not overdone. It's not in your face. It's never just, eh, but this movie has a very large scope, and that's what I liked about it. Now, one of the things I didn't like about this movie was I think the cast doesn't have the most chemistry. There's kind of a ridiculous number of big stars here. There's Kate Mara, Donald Glover, Kristen Wiig, Jessica Chastain, and it, the list goes on. And it feels a little unnecessary. A lot of them have roles that, you know, don't really have a lot of meat to them. They're just kind of like Kristen Wiig, for example, is just NASA woman number four for every once in a while. It just says, oh, the spaceship is lost. And it's like, why? Why, was, why is she in this movie? And I think that they all did good jobs, but aside from Matt Damon, none of them really meshed well with each other. Uh, well, sometimes they did, but sometimes they didn't, and it was, the cast is, I think, a little bloated and uneven. So, but other than that, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Uh, I, don't think it, I don't think I like it quite as much as a lot of people do, but I still had a lot of fun with it. I think it had a great atmosphere, had great acting, great visuals, really tense, engaging story. So I'm going to give The Martian 4 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, have you seen The Martian? What you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. Also make sure to let us know what you think of our reviews and give us feedback. Alright, and you can follow us on Twitter, at Stubmasters, and make sure to like and subscribe to get more videos. Alright, for Stubmaster Reviews, I'm John, have a great day.